So I'm going to now jump into some packer code. I'm going to jump into various packer templates that will demonstrate different capabilities. But before you can take this code, write it out and run it, you're going to have to set up your local system with some basics, with some fundamentals. The first one you're going to need, obviously, is packer itself. I've just gone over that, the installation of packer on Windows and Linux in a prior video. So if you want to just go backwards in this course, find those videos, run through them and get Packer installed, you should be up and running relatively quickly. It's pretty straightforward to install. The second thing you're going to need is your Amazon Web Services account. So you're going to need to register an account, you're going to have to provide billing information and you're going to have to get that account registered and ready to go. The third and final thing that you will need is you'll need to access your AWS account create an IAM user and then you're going to have to create an access and secret key for that user. You're going to have to download them and then you're going to have to configure your local AWS installation to hold those credentials for you. As you'll see in my packer code, I don't have any credentials stored at all inside that code. They're actually configured outside of packer's domain entirely. Packer then uses the AWS SDK in order to interact with the AWS API and that SDK manages handling those credentials for Packer on behalf of Packer. Packer doesn't need to see the credentials but that requires, in order for that to work, you're going to have to configure your local environment to be set up for the AWS SDK to be able to handle those credentials. If you Google that, if you look online, you look on YouTube, you'll find plenty of tutorials and documentation that will walk you through that process. But you're gonna need those three things before you're gonna be able to follow along with the next stage.